Hello everyone, Tech Enthusiast here and in this video I will try to explain why to use Mozilla Firefox browser in 2022. But before we actually start, let me know in the comment section down below, after you watch the video of course, if you did install Mozilla Firefox browser and set it as your default browser. And with that said, let's start with the introduction of the Firefox itself. So Firefox is a free and open source web browser and the definition of free and open source software based on Wikipedia is that is both free software and open source software where anyone is freely licensed to use, copy, study and change the software in any way. And the source code is openly shared so that people are encouraged to voluntarily improve the design of the software. And this is in contrast to proprietary software where the software is under restrictive copyright licensing and the source code is usually hidden from the users. Google Chrome is a great example of this because most of the Chrome's source code comes from the Google's free and open source software project called Chromium. However, Chrome is licensed as proprietary freeware. This means that parts of the code are from Chromium, which is open source, and some parts of the code aren't open source. Speaking of the Chromium, most of the browsers today use Chromium Base, for example, Microsoft Edge, Brave Browser, Opera, Google Chrome, and this is where Firefox really stands out. We can call it that is a black sheep of today's browsers, because Firefox Base is completely different to others, and it's called Quantum Browser Engine. To install Mozilla Firefox, go to your web browser and search for the Mozilla Firefox. Here you will click on the first link to download Firefox browser. And here you have the button to download Firefox. And if you click on it, you should get the Firefox exe file. Once you got the file, go ahead to your file explorer into downloads folder and here you should see the Firefox installer. Double left click on it and uh, this should install the Firefox. And once you got Firefox up and running, here you can easily click to pin it to the taskbar and also set it as your default browser on the Windows. So here I will click save colorway and click start browsing. So to actually verify if you have the Mozilla Firefox as your default browser, you can go to the settings of the Firefox and here at the top at the startup, you should see that this smiley face that Firefox is currently your default browser. And uh, let me show first the actual differences between the installers. So here I gather some of the setup files from the Chrome, from the Opera and the Microsoft Edge. And here you can easily see how much of a difference are here between the kilobytes of the actual installer. So the Firefox actually takes a least amount of the space. So let's say 330 kilobytes. Meanwhile, the Opera setup has 2600 kilobytes worth of the data. So probably I think that this is related to the actual base of the browser. So all these three are the Chromium based and this is the Quantum Engine, I believe, or Firefox installer. Right now, let me show you how much storage actually uses these uh, browsers right here. So I will use the third party software because Microsoft in the control panel actually isn't showing the size of the actual program. So here I'm using Revo Uninstaller. So this is the program that I usually use to uninstall my programs. And here you can see that Firefox or Google Chrome is at 530 megabytes. Microsoft Edge it's at 400 and let's say 90. And the Mozilla Firefox is at only, let's say, 207 megabytes. And the Opera is at 250. So as you can see right here, that the, the Firefox browser takes the least amount of the space to browse the internet. So if you are concerned of the space, the Mozilla Firefox browser is actually a really good choice. And then the second one is the Opera Stable, then we have the Microsoft Edge and the 
Google Chrome is the last by the space comparison. Right now, let me show you the RAM usage of all of the browsers. So I will open a few of the pages in each of the browsers. So let's start with the YouTube and uh, let's start here with the Edge, Opera, Firefox. And let's open another web page. Let's say Reddit. We have the Reddit right here. Reddit on each of the browsers. So here I have the comparisons between the browsers of the RAM management. I have here four browsers, Edge, Firefox, Chrome, and Opera browser. And in each of the browser, I opened two web pages, YouTube and the Reddit. And right now let's take a closer look how many of the memory it actually uses. So if I go to the processes right now, here you should see that the Firefox is actually taking the least amount of the system memory. So as you can see, Firefox is at, let's say, 150 megabytes. Meanwhile, the Chrome is at 360. Then we have the Microsoft Edge, which is at 330 and Opera browser at 300 megabytes. So here is also one win for the Firefox that it actually uses the least amount of the memory amongst these browsers, which are all based on the Chromium. And Firefox, as I said earlier, is based on the Quantum Engine. And right now, let's deep dive into the Firefox settings. So here at the general, you have the startup uh, page. And currently, as you can see, Firefox is set as my default browser. Then you have the tab section. So you have CTRL plus tab cycles through tabs in recently used order, open links in tabs instead of the new windows and such forth. Then you have the language and appearance settings. So default font and something like that files and applications so the preferred or the default folder where the my uh, firefox actually saved the fi files then we have the applications which use the firefox and if i go to the extensions and themes here you can easily customize your firefox for example if you go to the extensions then you can let's say install some of the extensions on your web browsers quite similar to other chromium based browsers then you also have the themes of the browsers so here you can pick whichever theme you would like for example this cheers balance disabled theme you can enable this as well and it looks something like that amongst the ui between all of these browsers i think in my personal opinion the firefox actually looks the best amongst them so here we also have the plugins so to let's say support some of the codecs or something like that and here we also have the home so here you can select a home page and new window for example currently is at firefox home default so this is this page and then we have the new tabs which can open your preferred web page as well and with that said i think we are at the end of the video so let me know in the comment section down below if you did actually install mozilla firefox and set it as your default browser and if you enjoyed the content, make sure that you are actually subscribed to the channel and also like this video for the YouTube algorithm. It would be much appreciated. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I see you guys in the next video. Peace.